no matter how you want to look at it guys instagram is really important like even if not you know so keen on sharing your life or anything like that everything is going digital you can see brands everybody goes online you know to do their marketing instagram right now is like a cv for some people and just looking at someone's profile looking at really good pictures good quality pictures beautifully edited pictures it just makes you look good basically so if you're going to do something why not do it Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, just quickly subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hurry up and subscribe. I've gotten a lot of questions. Like people always ask me, like, how do you edit your pictures and stuff? It's not like I'm the best at these things, but the thing is, I know I can take a picture from zero to at least a 75 or an 85. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the apps I use to edit pictures. I would say there are three apps I use: a student, I use Snapseed, and I use Visco, V S C O. So I started on using Snapseed, guys. Snapseed is a free app. You get it even till now. Like I don't think I've ever paid anything for snapseed so it has all those um, brightness contrast warmth saturation highlight to me i really really like the sharpness of snapseed that's one thing i really really um, use snapseed for when you take outdoor pictures of not a human being maybe a building the clouds and everything there's a way you can use the drama um, part of it to make it just look more gang -gang. so first thing is like having your bath vsco is like wearing your clothes and then um snapseed is now like you know spraying that perfume and then just grabbing like putting on makeup and stuff so that's how i just picture this apps in my head so face with face you can do so much um, i'm going to show you guys obviously an illustration you can smooth in like when you have all this unnecessary you just make your face like you guys when you actually smooth in your face you look more beautiful shape oh my god that thing's like magic or you can use face tune which actually go from a size 14 to a size 8 as long as the background you take it on is not like it doesn't have unnecessary lines and stuff that can you know make them catch you. PSU is like amazing. It's, it's, it, ha it's a free, it has a free platform where you have some filters and then when you pay you can get like way more, more to be honest I don't think I even utilize VSU the way I should and the good thing about VSU guys you can actually do these things to a video I've not really really ever done it but I just realized that you can actually put a video brighten the video sharpen the video much can give you a seven day trial to you know see how the premium one you works and then it will charge you like 18 pounds something for like a year so while you're doing this um, seven day trial to stop you don't because you better go quickly to apple because once it crosses the if the apple like just takes the money and i don't think they can refund it more. so these are basically the apps i use to edit photos and yeah this is how they work another day and i'm just going to show you an illustration of how i actually use this edit apps we're going to use facetune vsu and snapseed which are the three main apps i actually use so before then let's put on my screen recording so i can put the screen on the system here beside myself yeah it's recording so the first thing to do is to find a picture we're going to use a um, picture from my jada woman shoot it's already seated here I'll just check okay which which picture am i going to actually edit this picture already looks beautiful there's no point taking this picture to face tune i like the way it is the only thing i'll do with this picture is probably vsco or snapseed just to put some sharpening and then probably a filter if i choose and maybe a bit of brightness um let's look for a flawed a flawed picture this picture i love the smile in this picture but look at my tummy guys it just looks so big i also don't like the way my height looks it looks like i'm short i don't know the angle this picture was taken see it doesn't look like the same one this i look taller because it was taken i don't know from the bottom or whatever so we're going to deal with this picture um usually i'll save the pictures from my camera into my phone or if the pictures are not that much i'll just transfer with the wi-fi of my camera from the camera to the phone but since they were much i use the laptop to transfer with the usb so that's why they are in a folder in order to bring out bring it out of this folder i'd have to edit it duplicate and edit just do something to it maybe just a little crop you'll see it will just make you save it so you just save in your camera roll and then we go straight into my folder for um things so this folder is where i have the apps the first three apps are the apps I use, um, the other three I don't use them, I just heard about them and I thought why not share with you guys because you guys might actually like the apps. The thing about this thing, you have to try these things to see what one works for you, what one you can tolerate or what one you can do with, you know, and then decide. Okay, before we even do that, let me just mention it. So on Facetune, um, usually what I use are the, there, there's so many tools to use, but I use mostly the reshape, the smooth and then the blur, the blur or the focus, they are used to like just blur out everything. I'll probably show you a bit but i just want to talk about it and then reshape resize refine those are inside reshape i just use them to like move the body you can make yourself slimmer you can it's just crazy man and then the smooth sort of cleans your face or your skin or it flattens out um places as well yeah screen coding so this is face tune the first one this is the picture i was just editing and i put on instagram already um go to choose our picture i've already saved the picture in camera so you can see it's sitting here on this picture i would like to take off the tummy and i would like to make myself taller so um 
for that we'll use i told you i use reshape a lot reshape is what we'll use so we reshape you can do different things to your body but when you do something you don't like you press this so it takes it back exactly the way it was you can also zoom in and zoom out to work properly with reshape so we reshape um, what are we going to do now what are we going to do now come back here <laughs> so yeah we'll just push this in a bit just a bit just a bit use the resize sorry resize click resize yeah just take that to me just in a bit be careful when you're doing this thing so you don't just make a mess and like make yourself look so different so yeah, i'm just trying to increase my torso and push the, the pants down um we can use refine to take the top up refine just has a nice way of working with stuff just like pulling things away from each other refine just has i don't know there's a quality it has that just like it's so neat with the way it does things you can see how i'm just pulling it down trying not to touch the edge of it so it can go down without you messing your tummy or your skin or whatever just be careful with these things i think practice makes perfect with these things so as we've done this um could look better but to be honest i'm just trying to rush so this um, screen recording doesn't stop once we do this we go to smooth to clean out this place all this maga maga we have done here yeah that's okay just one degree of smooth we have double smooth and single smooth and then erase we're just going to use the one level of smooth stop this i think we can do some reshaping to push push it in a bit or even resizing yeah i think resizing is fine yeah i think that's perfect so yeah so you can make yourself look taller by just looking at everything around you there's a building there there's a fence beside me so just be careful so those things don't move anyhow so you can see i've moved myself up a bit so once you do things like this you you say okay press this button thing to just see how you were before and see the difference you can see the difference is not glaring and do a more reshape to just elongate my legs and then make sure you see this fence so you adjust your fence see how the fence is looking yeah not bad not bad not bad so i think this picture is okay we say okay and then we save it back to the camera roll. so now i'm done with face tune we're going to go to vsco on vsco i can actually put a filter or use all those brightness sharpness contrast i'll call them tools use those tools but i don't want to use the tools another thing you can do sorry is to save your recipe on VSU to be honest I don't have any recipes yet the way I save my edits is just to leave a picture I had edited there and copy and paste the edit so you can copy all the edits you had done on the picture from VSU all right so we're going into VSU which is this one I'm gonna click the picture it's already my camera roll it's here import so um because I've taken so many pictures I put all these pictures in my Instagram so when I put them on my Instagram this was I edited them here look at them sitting here including these ones so I already like the way they looked here and then you know it's just good to maintain the same look for your outfits if you choose to so I'm just gonna click that picture now you can't click more, more than one picture if you want to see the picture so I will click those other ones click this one now bring it up and then look at the picture so you can see how beautiful this picture i really didn't even have to do anything on face for this picture because my tummy everything was fine so i just came straight to vsu and put this edit so i'm going to go back go um click the picture so i just tap on the picture click the little dots here do bottom right copy edit you can see how copy edits came up we you can unclick it back and go to the picture you want to paste the edits click that picture click the dots again paste your edits so when you click this you're going to see that other picture look at my picture you can see now it looks like I'm just bending down, laughing flat on each flat on me. So how that on me was looking like this is how your slim mama's mm -hmm. so with this picture it's looking a bit like um reddish. I want to put a bit of light. You can also put a bit of warmth. Is there warmth here? Okay, warmth is on Instagram, so I can use warmth from when I'm when I'm trying to post a picture on Instagram. Clarity and sharpness. This thing doesn't need it, it's already so sharp, it's already so clear. So we save the picture. Next thing is Snapseed. So for Snapseed, um, to be honest, I'm not gonna take any of these pictures to Snapseed because Snapseed gives you exactly the brightness, clarity, all that thing, all those other apps, including Instagram app, even gives you. And I said don't use filters on Instagram, use the regular tools on Instagram. So for Snapseed, I really, really I'm gonna put on my um, screen recording now. For Snapseed, I really love like cloud pictures, outside pictures where it's not a human being, because I love the drama effect it gives it so there was a picture i have from when i went to lisbon let's find that picture quickly Lisbon, yeah so i took a picture of my finger in fact that finger picture should we even get okay let's get this finger picture oh dear so we'll just copy a bit so it saves i don't know if this thing even saved or copy a bit so it saves done and then there was this nice uh, mango um, orange 
trees they smell so beautiful guys those orange trees like there's just something about them that just smells so nice so yeah this this one's not head is showing here god i'm missing okay we're just going to manage okay this there's no head here and duplicates just copy a bit so you can see here camera roll boom that's it so we're going straight into snapseed for this one snapseed we import our pictures let's start with the ring oh the thing card first one even came in so the two i just i'm just going to go straight to drama drama is the one just look at the effect this drama gives so there are different types of effects let's just choose the dark one choose it we can also go into the um, the twos with brightness and co and co and co put some brightness put some color so you can actually do a lot with this i just don't want to do so much just look at just look at like you can just do so much with this once there's clouds and stuff this drama works so beautifully so let's export this save a copy let's go and open the um orange tree one i just put here orange tree one is another good one um the drama now you're going to see trees you see and then you can actually i think you can put the saturation from here saturation is like color so you can actually from your drama adjust the saturation i go back into this two these tools are like a basics and the basics for editing you can put some ambient just look at how this tree has now changed the way it was looking it's just beautiful and then you export save a copy that's it so you can go on your instagram just look at this tree just look at how beautiful it is from instagram you can also like you know okay this is the best thing for like when it's not um you know a human being that face filter you can do other stuff like sharpen and cool and cool on your instagram just look at it so beautiful okay guys so that's it really um these are all the apps i used to edit my photos i'm sorry there's so many more of them i'm going to put everything on my blog post and i'm going to put the link to the blog post in the description box feel free to ask me questions follow me on instagram send me dms if you want to i'm running my um igtv now i have like one video i'm going to try and put one again this week yeah just feel free to have fun with these things whatever is worth doing is worth doing well that's something i always believe so if you're putting pictures up why not put good pictures like why not you know do it well because you never know what could come out of it like you just look like a more serious human being when your feed is beautiful i'm going to do other videos on um your how to maintain your feed like apps to use to maintain your feed apps to use to make your insta story nice so thank you so much for watching um click the subscribe button if you haven't done this video has been so long thank you so much for being here see you on the next episode bye bye